smells like apples. Oh my it's god. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have like an herby this, but it has a sweetness and it's, my mouth is watering. My favorite wine was definitely the alfalfa wine because I have never had a wine made out of sprouts before. I mean, I think of alfalfa as stuff I put in a salad, you know. What would you put this with? Well, this one here, I'm really thinking it would go well with the cheese course because oh, yeah. all, the, all the different cheeses that we're going to mm. have. For our family, organic is more than just a marketing term. Organic is a philosophy and a way of producing food that's in harmony with Mother Nature and what the land can support. Well, cheers to the endless feast and to all Santé. Thank you. One more sip. Hi, how are Hello. you? Welcome I'm to Dirt Willy. Thank you so much. Dirt Willy Farm is a bird farm and we raise three types of wild turkeys. We also raise three types of pheasants. Oh, oh my. There they go. Oh, they're all so they do flying. fly. Well, we consider ourselves free range. The birds are in their own pens. They get to roam free. They have flight pens so they can fly. And I believe we're as natural as we can be. So in the next pen here, these ones are a little bit older. And you can see the door on the sides. We got a little like play pin type yeah. thing going on. Yeah. The pheasants at Dirt Willie's Farm are roaming free. They're pecking the grass. They are outdoors. Which pheasant are we going to get for the feast? The jumbo ring neck. I know it's definitely one of my favorites for the feast. We're going to braise it and do a pheasant and, and ricotta crepe. Oh, oh that sounds yeah. delicious. That sounds great. It is. Are these are full grown. They're ready for yeah. it. These are actually our breeders from this year. Today we saw wild turkey and pheasant, so it's nice to see where it came from, how they're being grown. So really neat operation to, to see how it all gets put together. Well, thanks so much for the tour. Well, thanks, thanks for again. coming. Beautiful birds. Thank you. So what all do we have to get done today? Well, I guess we're prepping a feast for 85 people, so we pretty much have everything to get done with. Everything. My philosophy when it comes to food is keep it simple. When you let the ingredients shine, just let them do the work for you. What are we going to use this corn for? This corn is going to be turned into a baby corn suck attack. And so we have baby corns, we have the bell peppers paired up with the beef. And uh, so that's just going to all blend into be our main course. Yeah, that's just one course. That's just one course. We have five courses on the feast menu. The course will incorporate a lot of different flavors together, the sweet and the spicy and the sour. The basis of it all is trying to be as local as possible and, and give people the best food as possible. So these beautiful tomatoes, Gorgeous yellow, orange. Yeah, what these yellow for? and orange tomatoes uh, from Gull Valley Greenhouses, beautiful vine ripening. We're going to roast these and, uh, and make our tomato jam out of that. Ooh. Everything is in season right now, so um, we'll be incorporating all those colors and all those flavors into the feast. So we still have oh, pheasant to prep as well. That is amazing. So, so we're going to braise these pheasant and then we're going to take the meat off and shred it and roll that up into a crepe. And so that's going to be our, that's gonna be our second course. The braised pheasant and, and crepe is going to be nice and tender, but you're going to get some crispness of the apples. You're going to get some um, nice bit of saltiness from uh, pork belly. The endless yeah, feast no, for me really showcases the, the harvest and how it's endless and just shows the bounty of what we have and the ways that we can put it together so we know it'll be a fantastic time no matter what happens. It's going to be awesome. We'll have a good workout before that. Good workout, so we have reason to eat <laughs> all the food. It's feast day on Peas on Earth. We have tons to do. We've got to set up the tables, put out the silverware and the glasses, wait for all the guests to come, and then we'll sit down and eat a great meal. It's about 12.30, so it's just absolutely beautiful out here. The weather's perfect. They have tents set up. Things are looking good. The farmers have done their work, and it's time for us to cook. Chef Blair is uh, an amazing young chef. And both of us are working together to produce this endless feast, and we've both been really fervent about the menu being almost 100% local. It's quite remarkable for Edmonton being on the 49th parallel to produce the variety of foods that we're going to have. Do tell, what have we got here? We've got a, a selection of our beers. At the uh, feast, I met Neil from Alley Cat Brewery. They are a local beer producer. We've got our brown ale. We have our fruit beer and then we have a pumpkin pie ale as well. Pumpkin pie? Get out! You gotcha. and then when you taste it you'll get some pumpkin in there with a little bit of this malt. Uh, wow! Malt. It really does taste like pumpkin pie. It does. I wasn't really expecting that to happen. 
and we're using some bison from Pilatus Farms. You know, bison being a lot leaner, it's higher in protein, have to be careful cooking it. Uh, we're just building up uh, some small bison sliders with a smoked gouda. So as guests arrive, we've got a beautiful array of four hors d'oeuvre appetizers that we'll be serving them. Little mini bison hamburgers that are finished with a market beet relish that has some uh, roasted corn. We've got a beautiful three onion leek ricotta tart with smoked whitefish rillette wild rice medallion and uh, that little medallion is going to be topped with some beautiful pork tenderloin from Irving's Farm Fresh. It's a chive biscuit with a wee bit of duck fat to give it a pate consistency and we've topped it with some creme fraiche and a red onion caviar. Oh my goodness. Isn't that gorgeous? You guys, we have to try that. Mm, the fish is fabulous. Would you like that? I would love to try it. Thank you. How do you eat this elegantly? It's so uh, big. It's, it'll, be a, a, it'll be two or three bites. Mm, the relish is delicious. Welcome everybody, welcome to Peace on Earth. My name is Eric, Eric Chen. My wife, Ruby Law, we're the owner of Peace on Earth. At this moment, we would like to ask everybody to, to start sitting down. <laughs> Thank you very much once again. Uh, welcome. Endless feast. What does it mean to us? To me, it almost means endless love. All the food that, that our farm produces, a lot of it comes right behind you. Events like this, ties people to the source of their food. Also, it is the feast that brings families closer together. This is our first course. So we have a slow roasted tomato. We actually roasted them overnight, just really low, 150 degrees, just to kind of condense the flavor. Underneath, we have a fennel and squash ratatouille. All the, the vegetables have come from the, the garden from right here at Peas on Earth. So that's our, our first salad course. The tomato is, uh, it's got a wonderful texture to it. It's still so soft but fresh in your mouth. And then the, the stuffing underneath, it's got more of a crispy taste to it and it's a lovely contrast. It's wonderful. It's really good. <laughs> we're talking about how food is a very sensual experience and we're just totally having a sensual experience right now with this, with this appetizer. So it's fabulous. You know, we're sitting here in this field and I'm, I'm looking out at this produce and it's absolutely magnificent. It tastes like it was just picked five minutes ago. That's how fresh it is. So this one is the braised Berkshire pork belly and that's on the, on the bottom. And then we're putting on top of that a pheasant and chive crepe, so it has ricotta into it, fresh herbs. The pheasant comes from Dirt Willis Farm with an apple compote, and so we've picked the apples right out in Enceinte Fruit Winery, and yeah, that's our second course. Well, I just found out what a pork belly is. It's fabulous. It's very, very flavorful. And this crepe, it's just amazing. The food and uh, the wild game that we're having here is a treat by any standard and to be able to have it and have it locally grown is even a better treat. It's almost like pate, but it's got like a little bit of pork and some sweet apple and oh my god, it's delicious. Mm. Mm. So now we're plating up the entree. So the entree is uh, some braised beef short ribs from Spring Creek Ranch. Then we've added a touch of sweetness in with the mashed potatoes by caramelizing the onions. And we're also doing a baby corn succotash. All those ingredients from here at Peas on Earth. It, it's Spring Creek Ranch beef. It uses a manure to produce green energy in part of the grid, so it's got a lower carbon footprint. And so we're doing our part to do good things for the environment. So enjoy. That just melted away in my mouth. Have you tried that yet? Yes, I have. Oh my god. It's all about eating local. Yeah. Fresh. And fresh. Well, he's braised it and he has his own special glaze and, and sauce for it. And just, it's excellent. I'm just going to get another taste of it. it. It's just good food that's coming from good people, that's prepared by good people. And we're sharing it with strangers that at the end of this aren't going to be strangers anymore. It's just a great experience. So the grizzly, the shell, what's this yummy stuff on top? That's eh? a pea pesto. It's so gorgeous. We have an array of uh, different Canadian cheeses from Sylvan Star. We have a, a cumin and gouda, we have an Italian herb, a green peppercorn. Okay, we're over your heads, no sudden movements. I have never seen so many goudas. <laughs> Thank you.
so we're serving dessert right now. Uh, put together a strawberry and rhubarb galette. <laughs> we're actually using organic flour. The butter is local as well. Every element in this dish is things that have just been made within miles of, of Edmonton. Oh, the oh my god, the strawberries, the rhubarb. Well, I'll tell you, I'm very proud to be able to have another taste of this. One more ding ding, sorry. I just wanted to give a toast and a lot of gratitude, first and foremost to Mother Earth who makes the wonderful food. I also want to toast all of you for coming to keep local farmers in business, to support your local communities, and to keep fresh local food. And last but not least, of course, a toast to the Endless Feast. So thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's been fantastic. So that's all we can ask for. I think we're leaving here all with a great memory. This is why we do what we do. It was a labor of love. I can't get over how gorgeous everything has been. The food's been phenomenal. The weather has held out. And I think everybody's going to walk away tonight with the feeling that they've been to a very special event. It was just amazing to see so many people who actually really care about this movement towards real, fresh, slow, farm, just picked food. And it was just a spectacular evening. Learn more about sustainable agriculture at www.endlessfeast.tv. The Endless Feast is proudly sponsored by the Edmonton Economic Development Corporation. Edmonton, Canada's festival city, is home to 3,500 restaurants and 16 farmers markets offering fresh produce and Canadian game meats. We join the Endless Feast in educating communities to eat local. And the Montana Office of Tourism. You'll find Montana beef, craft brews, and dozens of other locally grown foods at farmers markets and restaurants from Yellowstone to Glacier National Parks. Montana's agricultural heritage heritage is proudly supported by locals and travelers alike. Also, the foundation for the Mid-South. The Mid-South, Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi is world-renowned for its close connection of food and culture. We join the Endless Feast in celebrating sustainable agriculture and the positive impact it has on health, wellness, and the economy. <laughs>